when I meet people and let them know that I'm a hospice nurse, I often hear, how can you do that? How can you be there for such a sad moment in people's lives? I don't see it as sad. I see that as a gift and a, and a privilege to be able to to be able to be there and hold that person's hand and, and guide them and make them comfortable. My name is Christy Folks. I'm an RN case manager for Lower Cape Fear Hospice. We are headed to a home visit with a patient. I review their medications, make sure that any symptoms they are having are managed. I decided to become a hospice nurse in my 20s. My mother was diagnosed with lung cancer and we had hospice with her. But when she passed, I looked at those hospice nurses and realized that one day I wanted to do that myself. I wanted to give back what I received from, from those nurses. It is hard. It is hard some days. You do cry. You do grieve for your patient's loss. But there's also a lot of reward. You get to be there for a lot of happy moments, a lot of important moments. It's very special and a privilege to be able to be a part of someone's life at, at the end. Being a hospice nurse, I get to spend a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with my patient, with my families. When you work in other fields of nursing, you are up on your feet quite a bit. You have multiple patients that you're taking care of at one time. You have call lights going off. You can only focus on that one patient for just a few minutes while you're in the room. Being a hospice nurse, I get to sit down with that patient and with that family and give them my undivided attention. My favorite thing about being a hospice nurse is the gratitude that I get from families, that I get from patients, the ability to sit there and hold that, that precious little hand and, and see the love in my patients' eyes that they have for their care team, that they have for their families. The most difficult part of the job is when families are, are having a hard time accepting that, that their loved one is nearing the end of their life and, and watching them suffer just as, just as much a, as the patient. Patients are usually very accepting by the time they reach this point in their life and, and they are hoping that their loved ones are, are ready to let them move on. I've watched a lot of people enter this world and leave this world and to just be able to give them that hug and that, that assurance to know that they're going to be comfortable and they're going to be okay. I think that's, that's a good thing. Each patient leaves a mark in your heart. You remember a certain smile or a certain behavior that they have or a certain joke that they always would tell you because a lot of them do tell you the same joke over and over again. Um, and you carry, you carry that with you. There are a lot more happy and joyous moments in hospice than, than people want to, want to think about that they than they realize. Mm -hmm.